What is up, guys? Matt here coming at you with another quick video. You guys asked, so I did my best to get it done. Um, I knew everybody was going to want to know how this high-speed motor from FMS Slow Crawls. I just had it installed in a monster truck build that had the open diffs. So I pulled those, and we now have just the stock spools in there. Still waiting on the other locked spools. I had a lot of people saying, why would you lock these? when you can just get the locked spool from AliExpress uh, because I ordered those like a month ago and they're still not here, I don't know. <laughs> but um, at some point they'll be here and I'll probably start running those. But for now, I'm just gonna be locking those diffs. And I actually like these open in the monster truck. So anyways, this is the speed motor. We're gonna check out its slow crawl. I did wanna mention the way I just kind of tossed this heat sink on in my last video. If you put it on like that, you won't be able to get this body on, okay? I know a lot of people are looking at this motor to go with this body, right? <laughs> so um, <clears throat> you will have to clip that on there the correct way. You can see how it's, it's made to fit. So let's see if we can get this off and then maybe we'll put it on the correct way. I'm thinking we may have to have this transmission out to even get it on there right. So if you're going to put one of these on, there you go. All right, so it will go on. It's a little tight, but it's on there how it should be, I guess. And looks like it's not in the way of the shift linkage and everything, so... Now we should be able to run this body. Do you guys think we should run this body? I don't know. I kind of hate to scratch it up. Not really sure where to get these. Maybe we'll know in a couple weeks. So this does use just your standard locking mechanism here and then all the way in the back. So. There is that. We have the speed motor in here. We're in low. Seems like it crawls pretty good. We'll take this to the course and see how it does. Now this is a completely stock truck besides these wheels and tires, obviously. Slow crawl is probably not quite as good as the original stock motor, but it's pretty dang good, honestly. Let's check out the big block. All right, so here we have the Mofo big block. You guys have seen, uh, hopefully you've seen the video I did installing that. We got it in low. You can see the slow crawl is quite a bit smoother. Really good slow crawl there. I really like these little blocks. These things are awesome. My dad got these at a yard sale. <laughs> If you didn't see my post about these, I'm using them for stands. They work great. Um, and they're pretty cool for this because just like you can see there, you have to put some rubber on the bottom of them to get them to stay still, but it's a pretty good test for a slow crawl when you can kind of go up this and see how easily you can go over it. Pretty good slow crawl with that big block for sure. Now, again with the high speed motor. You can see it's just kinda a little more jumpy and I'm trying to be as smooth with it as I was the big block there. Not quite as smooth, a little more jumpy. I think this is something you could definitely get away with. Whoa. Easy on the trigger. 
my throttle trims off a little. I think this is something we could definitely get away with. Um, maybe even with like a Lizard Pro or a Lizard Ultimate. Hmm, maybe we'll put one of those in here. What do y'all think? Um, because the wheel speed with this thing is insane. So if we're able to crawl on the course with this, the wheel speed is going to be awesome. Let me get a stock truck. We'll show a uh, stock truck. All right, so this truck is completely stock electronics. It does have some weight added. Uh, this is the closest thing I have to a fully stock truck at the moment besides this, which we are trying to test with the high-speed motor. So um, I'm waiting on the pink bad baby to come in and the old rusty. So we're definitely going to leave one of those stock for testing. But everything comes in here. I plan on leaving it stock, and then it just gets modded. You can see the slow crawl here. With the stock motor, it feels just a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can really tell it. I think you can. That added weight gives us that pause right there. It, it, it's trying to pull a little more weight than it really needs to be. This truck is just one that I threw tons of weight at. You guys, if you watch the heavy versus light rig, video um this is that rig but uh let's try this one again with the speed motor just so you guys can see them back to back if i can get the right controller look i've been like in mad mode around here trying to get stuff out for you guys so everything's a wreck i have no clue what controller goes to what you're still able to get a really good crawl out of that i mean honestly I think it's easily better than a V1 SCX24. Not quite V2 smoothness, maybe. And it's a little bit louder with this motor, of course. You can see it. That's about as slow as I can get it to crawl right there. but the speed with this thing in low. Crazy. That is low, guys. All right, let's go test it on the course, get a little crawling in. So overall, this thing crawled really well. Uh, it is definitely louder than the stock motor or most motors. It sounds a lot like the $6 motor upgrade. You know, those things, they just sound like they're really winding out all the time. But uh, you can see it crawls pretty well. I go to bump up this, and I'm not used to really having this much power in low, and I almost lose it. So um, it does take a little bit getting used to, but, man, it's nice having all that wheel speed in low with this, and then you do still have high, which is crazy fast. So I can see us definitely putting this motor to use in some crawlers. So I think you can see here on this crawl, now this is a stock truck again. I mean, completely stock, no weight added. This is a hard body up top. So, you know, we've got quite a bit of weight up high and it's, it's doing really well. It is a bit more touchy than the stock motor. So a tiny bit more jumpy, I would say. Something that we can definitely get used to. And then later, if you wanted to upgrade to, you know, a Fury Tech ESC, I think you could even smooth that out a little bit more. But I get a little, kind of a bad bounce here. I'm not really where I want to be and just don't quite make that. High clearance links really help that. But um, yeah, that really wasn't anything to do with the motor, just bad driver. But <laughs> you can see coming down this, it's a little more on-off start-stop versus a, a super smooth crawl. But... Man, for a brushed motor, 13 bucks, throw it in there and you've got all the wheel speed you're ever going to need, honestly. Um, way more than you're going to need. It'll backflip most things. Uh, this is a pretty good option in my opinion. I think a lot of people are really going to be jumping on this motor and you'll see here, I throw it in high just to do a little burnout in the dirt. So that's pretty cool as well. And then coming through this line, it, it crawls pretty dang smooth. And uh, like I said, this is a stock truck completely stocked besides these wheels and tires and this body tossed on there 
looking pretty good and crawling well. And I'm telling you, you will never need any more wheel speed for crawling with this thing. Like it's unreal how much speed this motor has, but I do get it in a pretty good bind here. This is one spot I wanted to make sure I tried to come through because usually you get in a, a bind and it's, it's kind of tough. And you can see I've got the wheel speed to kind of get up that. Right here, I get in a little bit of a bind and never had any problem. I let that front wheel kind of hang under that rock just to make sure it had the torque and power to get out of that. And it pulled it out of there no problem. So I don't think we'll have any problem getting the torque we need out of this motor either. Uh, it's really just kind of learning the way it engages and everything and uh, getting used to it. But I think this is going to be a great crawler motor and tons of speed. All right, just because I'm curious, we've got the Cayman with the Micro Komodo set up on the left and the speed motor on the right in low, both on 2S. I wanted to see how it did in low compared to this motor. So pretty close, almost as fast as the brushless Micro Komodo, not quite. Of course, in high, it is much faster. So here's the single speed SCX24 trans versus the high gear. So in this section here, uh, I felt like I needed just a little bit of weight. Again, this is just a stock truck with these wheels and tires added. These Enjoy Scramblers struggled a little bit with grip. Uh, not bad, honestly, but they um, could have used just a little bit of weight in the front but this truck did have enough speed to make this hop going up to this second level here in low. Normally I always have to hit high and with an SCX24, I have to be on 3S for sure to make that. Now over here on this, a little weight up front and this would easily make this in low. I know it would, it just couldn't quite hold itself down and wouldn't make it in low. So I put it in high and in high I had way more speed than I needed. I was used to completely punching that thing and I didn't need all of that throttle to get up this in high. All right, so you can see this speed motor is a really good option. I think we're gonna be able to get away with crawling with this thing pretty well. Uh, the hold on it seems pretty good as far as the, uh, you know, holding itself on an incline. It don't just roll back or anything crazy. Uh, in high, it's about like stock. I, it almost seemed like it held a little bit better sometimes, but it was pretty unpredictable. Sometimes it would roll back. Uh, sometimes it would hold well in high, so uh, that's kind of a wash there. But you can see this thing in low is almost as as fast as this with the uh, free the SCX24 transmission in it. So this is a pretty good option, guys. Like 13 bucks, you just slap it in and go. One thing to note: if you are running a stock body and you put this heat sink on here, you will have to trim just a little bit right here. Uh, I was trying to put one of these on because I didn't want to break the other body and it won't go on. You can see it hits. Maybe you can see, let me get some more light here. It hits right there. So you'll have to cut just a tiny bit there. Um, but other than that, if you're gonna run the heat sink, probably a good idea, honestly, with this motor. But I didn't really have any heat problems. That doesn't, fit completely on there well you could cut just a tiny bit off the chassis there but i wouldn't bother it's on there well enough but anyways you guys let me know what you think i can do more comparisons with these but uh just thought this was a good comparison real quick and uh i think this would be a pretty good crawling option i mean it's not the greatest for slow crawl obviously a little bit worse than stock to be honest but barely noticeable so uh the wheel speed is great you guys let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. Peace.